Hey there, everybody. So my spread today, your lesson for today is going to have a little bit of a different spin. So it is about myself and I did lay the cards before I started filming. And I just wanted to let you know that we are going to consider the clubs as the season of spring and the hearts as the season of summer and the swords as the season of fall and the diamonds as the season of winter. So um, some of you already know that the cards represent the weeks in the year. Um, there's a lot of stuff about that of how many cards there are and um, how that all works out. So the inquiry that I did before I laid the spread was about a person who just received my resume. So I had the corporate headquarters on the East Coast send me an email saying, hey, we want you to apply for this great new position. And so I did respond to that, but it just so happens that I know the person that's doing the hiring. And so when I called her, um, she was very excited that it was me. And so let's just go ahead and go through this with my question being, how did she feel when she read my resume. So I submitted my resume to her and I do have to interview up against two other people. That's the law. And so there could be somebody better than me, but um, I have sort of an inside lucky opportunity. So let's start at the roots here. Very firmly rooted in work. So we talk about clubs as being um, the wand or the staff, like a shepherd's crook or a shovel. So digging in the dirt, I definitely have my uh, sort of ducks in a row as it would be as far as having a great background in my career. And uh, the person that's hiring me has actually never seen my full resume from where she, she just knows me from a past job. Anyway, the trunk of the tree, which I purposely left out in my last lesson, and only a few of you caught that. That was pretty funny. Um, I chose to lay my cards in advance this time because last time I was talking and going really fast and I forgot my tree trunk, um, which still worked just fine. But I'm glad that some of you did catch that. Do put those things in the comments, you know, that way other people can learn from your insights as well. I know you like to be private and email me, which is great. So cgypsyevents at gmail.com. The trunk of this tree is the seven of hearts. So what we have is, if we think of it as the seasons, as something in the spring of this new career, something developing, seeds have been planted. The summer of this opportunity is watery and strong. Uh, there's confidence there. So great roots, great trunk. So in the past, um, especially with COVID-19 and this being a wacky year, um, we see a passing away. We see a low energy card regarding a job. So on October 4th is my last day at a different job. And this has to do um, with some of the COVID stuff going on, but that's okay. A new opportunity came up just in time. Now there's me. I'm the king of hearts. So I work with a lot of people in the career of design. And so it's very business-like. There's a lot of math. There's a lot of typing and phones and computers and diagrams and products to put into these designs. And so it's sometimes considered a right-minded, very business-like type of job, but I'm a woman. So women are certainly capable of doing that kind of thing. And there I am above these roots and trunk, me in the present moment, feeling pretty good about everything. I'm actually not too worried about the job that passed away, uh, though it is unfortunate. So we see what's in the near future is if we look at it as harvest, we look at it as a sword, a gathering of the wheat, if you will, is communication. So here's the Jack, which we sometimes call him our messenger. Sometimes he's the son of the queen. Sometimes he's a knight. Sometimes we call him the knave. But right now he's in the sword bearing position of in the near future, I am definitely going to get a communication. I know that I am going to be interviewed for this job. We'll just see if I do better than the other two people that are also up for the position. Now, what's blossoming is 
relatively small in diamonds. And so it's a new beginning. So interesting that the blossom on the tree of life is a one, but it is a diamond. And so um, I'm hoping that that is going to improve. Uh, money is certainly an issue. Insurance is certainly an issue. So the winter shield, the reflection of ice and wealth and all of that culminates over here in the fruit. So my feeling of reading my own cards, it'd be different if you were reading for me, is that um, we're going to just play at it. We're sort of going to banter this around. I may not be getting much more money, but I'm going to get perhaps just a little more money um, than my last position. I should get a lot more, but uh, because of the times right now, we're supposed to just be grateful to have a job at all, but they certainly understand my value. And so sometimes the two is sort of coquettish. It's sort of playful. Um, and so I feel confident that my friend, if I get hired, is going to negotiate and bring me the salary and the insurance that I really deserve. And so if we go back over the spread, we call the last card at the top of the tree of life, uh, sometimes the spiritual card. And so certainly nurturing, loving, big, red, summer juiciness. And so it goes right down the middle to me. There I am. I'm the king. What's keeping all of this strong in the roots? So everything that's on the peripheral, anything that's sort of lower numbers um, is suggesting just the newness to me. And then this is the most important guy right here of actually getting the interview. And so feel free to study the thought of the suits being the seasons. So clubs are wands, but clubs are black and clubs are spring as far as that goes. Hearts are red, hearts are cups, and hearts are summer. Swords are spades, are black, are fall, a harvest, or sometimes, you know, that communication of what's harvested from that communication, because we talk about the element of air and the element of water and the element of earth. So there's still all those components to get us into diamonds. And so everybody wants lots of diamonds. Everybody wants wealth, security, health, and a beautiful reflection of yourself and certainly a nice spiritual confirmation that all is well in your world. All right, everybody wish me luck and maybe you could do this reading for me and let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.